In this lecture, we are going to learn about the assignment operator in JavaScript. So let's go to VS Code and let's create a variable using let keyword. Let's call this variable x. Now to this variable x, we want to assign a value. For that, we use assignment operator. So this equal to here, it is called as assignment operator. And using an assignment operator, you can assign a value to a variable. So here, let's say I want to assign 10 to this variable x. All right, so this equal to operator is called as assignment operator and it is used to assign a value to a variable. Now, just like most operators in JavaScript, the assignment operator assigns a value to a variable and then it also returns that value. For example, let's create a variable y here. Here, I have not assigned any value to this variable y. Now, let's write this console.log statement and there, let's say y equals 20. So here, as we learned, this assignment operator, it should assign this value 20 to this variable y and it should also return this value. So if I save the changes in the developer console, we should see 20 logged. This is logged because this expression here, it has also returned this value 20 because this equal to operator, it is also going to return this value 20. Okay, so that's why you will see this 20 logged here. Now, let's create another variable. Let's call it C. And to this, what we are going to do is, instead of assigning a value directly here, we are going to assign an expression to it. So here, let's say 100 minus X equals Y plus 10. So we have this variable X, we have this variable Y, X is storing 10, Y is storing 20. So here, this expression will be evaluated first and whatever will be the result of this expression that will be assigned to this variable z. That means the associativity of this equal to operator is from right to left. For other operators, it is from left to right. So for example, let me create a variable a and here let's say 10 plus 20 plus 30. So here for this plus operator the associativity is from left to right so it will be evaluated from left to right first this expression will be evaluated it will give us some result and then with that result this expression will be evaluated so the evaluation is happening from left to right but in case of equal to operator it has the associativity from right to left that means first whatever it has in its right hand side that will be evaluated first and then it will be assigned to the operand which it has in the left hand side. I hope you got the point. And since this equal to operator has associativity from right to left, what we can also do is, let's say we have a variable A, B, C and D. Okay, now let me comment this line or maybe I will remove it from here. So we have four variables A, B, C and D. Now what we can do is we can say a equals b equals c equals d equals 100. Now what does this mean? Since the associativity of this equal to operator is from right to left, this expression here it will be evaluated from right to left. So here 100 will be assigned to this variable d. So now this d variable is storing a value 100. That value will be assigned to this variable c. Then the same value will be assigned to this variable B and the same value will be assigned to this variable A. So here we are chaining the assignment. So whatever value we will assign to the last variable that will be assigned to all the variables here. And this is possible because the associativity of this equal to operator is from right to left. So this is about assignment. Now when we use assignment operator, we also have a shorthand notation for performing arithmetic operations. For example, let me create a variable sum and let's say its value is 10. Now what we want is to this sum variable, we want to add 5 and then we want to assign the result back to this sum variable. So here we can say sum equals sum plus 15. So previous value of sum is 10. So this expression here, it will return 10 plus 15. That means 25 and that 25 will be assigned 
back to this sum variable. So the new value of this sum variable is 25. So we can also write expressions like this. Now here we are saying sum equals sum plus 15. In short, we can also write it as sum plus equals 15. Okay, so this is also possible. And this is equivalent to this expression sum equals sum plus 15. Okay, if you want to say sum equals sum minus 5, then this expression you can write it as sum minus equals 5. So this expression here it is equivalent to this one. Similarly, you can do it for multiplication operator as well as division operator. So you can also say sum equals sum multiplied by 2. So you can write it as sum multiplication operator equal to 2, which is equivalent to sum equals sum multiplied by 2. So this is shorthand assignment notation. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.